I do think it's disappointing the way the Celtics obviously finished this season. I do think that they had a ton of talent. I do think a lot of it has to do with something Gerard said, is, which is about the managing of, of players and egos. I think there were a lot of egos. You had guys that had, when Kyrie and Gordon Hayward were out last year, they played major minutes. Mm -hmm. They were a game away from being in the finals against LeBron and the Cavaliers. Some of those guys had to make sacrifices and reduce their roles. Mm -hmm. Scary Terry. Yeah. Okay. Jalen Brown. Yeah. To some degree, Jason Tatum. Yeah. How do you think those dudes felt about coming back and Gordon Hayward not really putting up good numbers and he's taking their minutes? And I'm making all that money when they're trying to play for contracts. Yeah. And I'm looking at that person like, I'm better than him. Yeah. And it's fine. Now, I do think Gordon Hayward was getting back and getting his footing. And I think Gordon Hayward will be fine. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of what a lot of us underestimated, I was saying earlier, is that that was going to take him some time yeah. just to get back to where he was. Some of that could be on Brad Stevens because you should have known not to put him in the starting lineup that soon, perhaps. That's fair. You know? But then you wonder how much pressure is there from the fan base and management that we're paying this guy whatever million dollars a year. And he's got to play. That's not a reason. That's not an excuse. But yeah. I just wonder if that exists. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think I also think with Boston is that Danny Ainge was trying to play a video game. What he was trying to do is assemble the most talented roster imaginable and not really account for oh personalities on the team, mm -hmm. as sort of Gerard mentioned, right? And then they're also sort of in the middle of oh we want to win now and then we want to win later. But then you have guys on the team who are still developing, so you're kind of stunting their growth because now you got Kyrie and Gordon Hayward taking minutes for them and all this stuff that they didn't account for. I don't think that they managed it well. I don't think that they played particularly well. Kyrie Irving shot thirty eight point five percent from the field in these playoffs. Thirty eight point five percent. And his numbers in the Milwaukee series were not good. Thirty one percent from three in these playoffs. He missed and fifteen at least fifteen shots or more in the last three games. And everyone wants to tell me about how great he is. See, and I'm telling see, you, and I think thing. and I think he is great. But I think LeBron James saved him from being Stephon Marbury. Yo, first of all. And Stephon Marbury don't, is great. Don't disrespect First my boy, all, Stephon Marbury. No, ever. I'm not. But what I'm saying is that Kyrie Irving, for the majority of Stephon Marbury's career, he was a great player on mediocre teams or a great talent on mediocre teams. No. I think Kyrie Irving was destined for the same thing had LeBron James not returned to Cleveland. And then he got this reputation of being a winner and, you know, being clutch in the playoffs because he hit that one big shot. And yeah, that's some other big shots. And that distorted. But that one big shot. No, but that one counts. in particular is the Propelled one that. him to another yeah, level. Yeah. And everyone sort of, oh, now the perception is that he's a winner. He's great. He's this. When it's like, yo, you put other guys in that same position, they'll hit that shot too. Uh, you don't not see, any you know, other you don't dude. Know that. Not any other dude. But your boy Kemba Walker would. Damian Lillard too. But Damian Lillard's better than Kyrie. Right. Now people but are saying that. Before that wasn't the case. But I thought he was better than Kyrie before we even had the Kyrie Kemba debate. I thought he was better. And I and remember, I'm not even saying Kemba Walker's better than Kyrie Irving, but what I'm saying is they're on the same level and I'd rather take Kemba Walker because I'm getting the same production without the headaches. Now, I'm you're bringing up the point that I want to address. Brian made this point before episodes in ago. February. In February. I just want to get I kind of people. I will say this, I'll be <laughs> honest about it. If you go back and you Watch the podcast, listen to the podcast. I was kind of on the, son, you bugging. Yeah. That's the kind of vibe I was on. Yeah. I've come back a little bit. I, I've I, I've often been accused of, you know, of I, such I, things. I've, I've, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not completely off of where I'm going, but I've brought this back a little bit based on some things I've seen in the postseason. If I made my comment earlier in this podcast that the postseason is where you make your money, it's kind of where you make your name, it's the things that matter. As much as I want to account for the stuff that happened before, which we do have to count and factor in, as you're trying to mention, with LeBron James, that Kyrie hit these shots, that were these big shots. And I don't think you can take those things that are away, away from him. However, when you you know when you go from being the sidekick to being the man. Which he wanted. What he wanted, and yeah. I respect him for wanting that. Yeah. But sometimes it also may look right now like you're not really doing it that well. Mm -hmm. That's the problem here. That's point number one. Let's get to the leadership thing. Mm -hmm. Kyrie wanted to be a leader. I do think he's was kind of in this tough situation with what you made an excellent point about with Danny Ainge playing a video game and thinking about putting this roster together of talented players and not thinking about the egos and how players mesh yeah. or would players be upset about the minutes being lost and all these other stuff and thinking that players would just quote-unquote fall in line. Kyrie's coming and trying to be a leader and motivate these young dudes and understand, and he admitted to give him fair point 
He admitted this. It wasn't as easy as he thought it was going to be. Yeah. And I have a lot of- I appreciate that level of transparency. Yeah, Yeah. I have a lot of respect for him for admitting that. However, people looking at you with what you're getting paid and what you possibly could get paid this offseason to be like, are you the kind of guy that can lead the team? Especially as an expiring contract. Contract. Can you get the job done? Based on what we saw this season Uh and in this playoffs, Kyrie has not shown me that he can effectively lead. Now, I don't know if Kemba Walker is – I've heard good things about him being a leader. I don't know if he's a great leader. I know he's a good team guy. Mm -hmm. See, this is the difference I want to be honest. Kemba Walker might not be (laughs) the leader that Damian Lillard is. He might not be the leader that Stephen Curry is. And maybe he doesn't have to be. People have different styles of leadership. Yeah, I was going to say. However, the thing that concerns me with Kyrie and why I'm walking it back a little bit, what concerns me now is you're going to have bad shooting series. That's going to happen. It's the other stuff that comes with Kyrie, the mm-hmm. stuff you hear about him being moody, the things you hear about him having these different mood swings. If anybody's played sports, organized sports, you know that if you're dealing with some moody person on your teams, even if you're employers, now you don't have to like all your coworkers. I know that. <laughs> you don't have to like all your coworkers. That that does happen. But nobody wants to deal with these coworkers that they don't like. You don't want to show up and have to deal with it. I've been in situations like that where you don't want to be around these coworkers that you don't like. You look, you still have to be professional, get the job done, but it can affect the we team. We both have been in those situations. Yes, we both have been in those situations. <laughs> um, we're not calling. We're not calling any names. Not right. saying anything about that. But we both have been in these situations. Now, before I get into more than that, I think it was interesting. Jared Dudley was on Get Up early this week, and he had this to say about Kyrie Irving and his effects in the locker room. What do dudes say about Kyrie, the teammate? As a teammate, they say he's a different cat. That's the word they use. You know, that's a, you know, you have a smile on your yeah, face no, it, it, Because you know what? Like, Why is it tough? Why is it tough to get along with this guy? Well, they, they say his mood swings. That was a big thing. I, I heard a story, obviously, when it, when it, when it happened to uh, during the playoff run. Uh, he didn't talk to his teammates for about three, four weeks. I, you know, I heard that in Cleveland. Last year. Uh, I don't know if it was last year. Well, last year years. he didn't show up. Remember, he didn't show yeah. up, and everybody told us it wasn't a big deal. That he I, actually didn't show think, up. I actually think it was the year they won the championship, where he didn't talk to someone for like a month. Yeah, right, right, And so, you know, that's just different. And then you see how he, inter- how he answers questions. I've never had him for a teammate, but that that's really the rep around the league. Talented player, a, a little moody, hard to get along with. But you know what? You'll take him on your team because of how talented he can be and what he can win. Isn't that kind of Marbury-ish? Like, based on, like, what the same things that people were saying about him when he was in the league, too? Yeah, those are some of the stuff, some of the things that that went around. Here's the thing. And that was one of my favorite players growing so, up, full disclosure. So, me, too. Yeah. And was one of my favorites to watch growing up. Yeah, absolutely. And I would love to hear now older stuff from Marbury, what he thinks about himself then and what he may even think about Kyrie now. Mm. But... Kyrie, if this what Jared Dudley is saying is true, and I have no reason that a veteran of Jared Dudley's status would not know what the word is around the league about him Mm -hmm. and how he is, bruh, you're not talking to your teammates for three to four weeks during the playoffs? Yeah. What? Yeah, as a leader? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, if you want to be role player who doesn't want to talk to your teammates for three to four weeks, nobody cares. But if you're trying to be that dude and nobody, you don't talk, you can't, you can't. For someone to be injured while the team is having a great deal of success and then come back and want to be the leader while there's all these rumors about you playing with Team X and Team Y and, Mm -hmm. you know, being in free agency and you have one year left on that contract, it's very difficult to to sell me, if I'm Terry Rozier or Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum, to sell me that you're going to lead me to the promised land after we did what we did last year without you. So with all that being said, this is where I'm at now. We had this Kyrie and Kemba debate. And I might have to come back and agree with Ryan that maybe the bang for your buck that you're getting and the talent with Kyrie, I still think Kyrie can hit big shots. I still think he's better than what he performed against Milwaukee. I do think his talent is better than that. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. But I do have to look at it objectively and say, how does he affect the team? How is he affecting younger guys? Can he effectively lead? And I don't know that. And when I don't know if you can lead, and I know that you've had a bit of an injury history, what I will say to that is, are you worth max dollars? Not may not, not that I may not want to pay you, not may I want you to play on my roster. Right. I might want that. I do think if he's paired with the right guy, it can work well. 